Imagine being able to create architectural drawings not with heavy PC, not with expensive software, but all inside your browser. Hi everyone, I am Krithika, an architectural illustrator and educator. Welcome back to my Synapse tutorial series. If you're new here, I have uploaded an introduction video where I shared why I'm so fascinated by this tool. And today, in this tutorial, I'll be creating a floor plan manually inside Synapse and walking you through the process step by step, just like I would in a course. Also, I want to share a secret with you that Synapse can also generate floor plans using AI, but we will save that for a later video. Now, let's dive in and start designing our floor plan. Let's open Synapse on my desktop. At the top, you will find the option to create a new model. Click on that and here we have our new document. You can see the frame here, click on it and from the right hand side properties panel, you can change the format and the scale. I'm going to keep the scale 1 is to 75 and here we have it. Now, I have already sketched my plan. So I will simply upload that file. Click on upload icon at the top then select your file and upload it. Here's my file. I'm going to scale it down and place it over my frame like this. There we go. Now I will zoom in. Just press Ctrl and scroll to zoom in or out easily. So here I have my sketched floor plan. Now it's time to create walls. At the top, select the wall tool. The shortcut command for wall tool is W. From the right hand side properties, you can adjust the wall thickness. I will keep it 9 inches. You can also change the alignment, dimension, fill and stroke. Now, start creating your walls like this. One click, then second click. You can also enter exact dimensions as you draft. Since I have already known the scale of my floor plan, I will simply trace over the plan that I sketched earlier and create my full layout. Press W again to make sure the wall tool is active and continue drafting all the walls. It's so easy and convenient. If you want to deactivate any tool, simply press escape and here we have it. All the outer walls are done. Now, I will take the wall tool again. This time, I will reduce the thickness from 9 inches to 4.5 inches and start creating all the internal walls like this for the bathroom, for the walk-in wardrobe area and here for the powder room and the kitchen as well. It's honestly so easy. You don't have to start drafting from scratch. Your walls automatically connect. No trimming, no offsetting, nothing messy. Once done, go to the left hand side layer panel and hide your reference image. Now, you can see the walls are clean and precise. If you need to edit anything, just click on the wall. You will see the points appear. Drag them to adjust as needed. Zoom in for precision and that's it. You can modify any wall or room however you like. Here, for example, this wall isn't aligned perfectly. I will drag and place it correctly. And here we have it. Within just two minutes, I have created this floor plan. Now that our walls are ready, it's time to move to other details. I will go to the tools, select the polyline tool. The shortcut command is P. Let's start creating the steps. Here you can see I am entering the dimensions, for example, 36 inches, and then creating the shapes like this. I will keep using the polyline tool to draw all the steps shape one by one. Now, for a step that's rectangular in shape, I will press R for the rectangular tool. That's the shortcut. At the backyard as well, we have few steps. I will create those two with the polyline tool. Zoom in for precision, enter your dimensions and create your shapes neatly. If you create a closed loop, it becomes much easier later to add fills like materials, hatches or colors. So, always try to keep your floor plan shapes closed. That's a little tip for you. Now, let's hide the sketch image. And you can see the floor plan taking shape beautifully. I will unhide the sketch again for reference. Now, 
To create the courtyard, I will take the rectangular tool and draw the courtyard areas like this. Next, for the kitchen slab, I will hide the sketch image again and take the polyline tool. The depth of the kitchen slab will be 24 inches. So, I will create a U-shaped layout for the slab like this. Once done, you can double click on the shape to edit it. Increase the size, adjust the points to make any change you want. Now, I will unhide my sketch again and using the rectangular tool, create a small rectangle in the entrance foyer for the courtyard cutout. Here you can see I have an arched entrance from the main door to the living area. So, I will just trim this wall, take the ball tool again and draw the arch opening properly. Then, let's hide the image again. Now, I will align the walls neatly. Now, it's time to add the openings, doors and windows. At the top, you will find the openings tool. Click on it to add doors. From the right hand side properties, you can change the swing direction and choose whether doors open inside or outside. Simply place it and you can drag or resize it easily. Now, for the windows, again, select the opening tool. The shortcut command is Shift plus O. From the properties panel, switch the type from door to window, then stretch or resize your windows as needed. I will place one here in the kitchen and add more using the same technique. And here you can see I have added all the doors and windows in my floor plan. It looks beautiful, neat and clean. Now comes the most interesting part, adding assets. On the left hand side, you will find the asset library. Click on it and simply drag and drop your assets. Here I have a sink. I will rotate it to 90 degrees from the properties panel and place it where I want. Then I will add a stove in the kitchen like this. In the bedroom, I will drag and place the bed, scale it properly and then add a study chair. Next, I will use the rectangular tool to create a study table. From the right hand side, I will take the eyedropper tool Pick the same fill color as the bed and apply it to the table. Then rotate and position the chair and here we have our study setup inside the bedroom. One by one, I will add all the furniture elements and here you can see my full furniture layout. Isn't it looking so good? Now let's add text labels. From the top, select the text tool and write your text. For example, Kitchen. You can customize it from the properties panel, change the size, font family, line weight or even color. I will add all the labels to my floor plan and here's how it looks with the text added. Now to add dimensions, go to the top toolbar, select the dimension tool. The command is D. Select two points, drag and your dimension appears. You can add continuous dimension the same way. Just click on each point and drag. And yes, you can also change the dimension properties from the right hand side panel. For now, I just want to show it to you. I don't want to keep the dimensions in my presentation plan. So I will delete them and move on. Now let's make our presentation look more beautiful. From the layers panel, select the wall layers, click the first one, hold shift and select the last one. Now, from the properties panel, I will add blue fill using the hex code. For the stroke, I will keep it black or blue and increase the stroke size from 0.8 to 2 and here we have it. Our walls are filled. Now, I will select the frame, apply the same hex code but experiment with a lighter blue shade so it suits the floor plan. I am thinking this blue looks really pretty. I will remove the stroke for a cleaner look. Then I will select the steps and the floor area. Hold shift to select multiple. Pick a slightly lighter blue tone to create a nice monochromatic look. And here it is. Our complete floor plan. It looks minimal, clean and visually pleasing. I have also created another version in green and it looks beautiful too. Tell me, which one do you like? 
green or blue and that's how you can create your floor plans manually inside Synapse. Clean, simple and all in your browser. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe because I am going to drop a new Synapse tutorial every week and next week I'll show you how to create other architectural details so you can level up your design work. I am Krutika and I will see you next week. Till then, happy designing. Bye-bye.